Martin from Secure Channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to another new episode of Markets. Tomorrow we look at what happened in the market today and how we can look for for a better trade tomorrow. This is technical trader and technical market analysis. This for the February 16th, Wednesday, 2022. That's tomorrow. So what happened in the markets today? The bulls hit back equally hard as the bears had hit uh, the other day, right? But will it sustain? That's a big question. Let's analyze the charts and see. Free market analysis for February 16 would have all of these parameters that you see on the chart. All of these items that will be covered in the charts and the data analysis. We will also have some actionables and wrap up also. So look at the candlesticks. Right? Very rarely do we see such wide range bullish candles. Wide range bearish candles are there many, but wide range bullish candles and not that often. It's clear bullishness that has happened. Bank Nifty on the right side also clear bullishness, right? Bank Nifty is at a, so basically it is at a still at a gap resistance. You can see, right? So there is a gap between uh, the this candle and the two bearish candles, right? So that gap is not fully covered. Same with the Bank Nifty also. This small hammer can candle and the big, big wide range fall there is a gap between that yesterday so only if that is overcome then you can say that right the bounce is for real until then we are not sure right it's good that it bounced it recovered three was three percent almost all of what it had lost yesterday was taken to the nifty and uh, uh, so no, most of uh, bank nifty also recovery happened so it was four percent so 3.4 of 0.6 percent only is left to recover the bank nifty and look at the wide range bullish candles so it clear shows bullishness but to sustain that gap resistance would be a major hurdle there intraday this is what happened right slight deposit in the morning right but immediately started trending upwards then it was not straight up same bank nifty also initially it had a dip small dip then the recovery was like you know bombastic upward move that's what happened right Mm -hmm. Bollinger what do they say? It still says that Nifty has more volatility than Bank Nifty. Volatility contraction is happening even more. That means the skews is happening, so that uh, volatility range is reducing precisely. Nifty it's already reduced, and it's closed above the, you know, not the full candle is not above the moving average, but uh, 20 moving average is you know it has overcome that actually in the Bank Nifty. But Nifty is still little away from the 20 moving average, so that shows that. It's highly volatile uh, sideways nifty and highly volatile, uh, less vol lesser comparative light to lesser volatile bank nifty, which is on the edge. You know, whether it will sustain to close another candle above that moving average is the thing. You know, that is something that we have to see tomorrow. So it's so somewhere on the edge, that is where it is. You know, sideways on the edge of pollution, as you can say, bank nifty. Right? Nifty, you know, nifty. No, it's pure side basically. Support resistance, the resistance of Nifty left side chart that you see is 17350, see in that range. And that's where it stopped today, 350. The next resistance upside will be 17576, and this is the Fibonacci 23. And above that, you have 17800, 850 levels, and above that, 18,000 loading number. Downside, similarly, the support would be 17200, 17300, and then if that is gone, then you come back to 70,000 nautic level. If that is also gone, then you come back to Fibonacci 386900 level. If that's broken, 16,700 to 750. That's broken, 16,550. Like that it goes, right? So that's the upper resistance on Nifty. Bank Nifty, we see the resistance is 38,000. Uh, maintaining 38,100 is the kind of resistance. Also, it is closed above it, whether it is sustained or not. So, that's considered as the resistance. If that is cleared, then 38,500 uh, would be next target. And above that, you have 39,000. And if that is also cleared, 39,500 would be the next resistance. Similarly, the downside support will be 37,800 level. Then, if that is gone, then go to the Fibonacci 23 level, which is 37,400 levels. Then that is also going means you come back to 37,000 kind of levels. That's what means you come back to Fibonacci 38 level of 36,700. Let's see the resistance at the board of the bank of T, making all of these levels, you know, and the breach or you know, of any of these levels upside or downside is where you, you decide whether you have to you know, make an entry or make an exit accordingly, right? 
momentum divergence section if you see momentum is sideways it was it went to the bearish yesterday in the nifty now it is climbed back right into the sideways momentum as per the rsi indicator now bank nifty also uh, bank nifty had not uh, gone to the bearish on yesterday it was sideways only and it bounced up from the 40 rsi which is very good it shows more bullishness that bounced up from the support region of the momentum so sideways momentum overall on the short term and the medium term for the nifty and the bank nifty the thing is trend does not change even though we had such a big move the momentum uh, definitely also but the price trend is still remaining bearishness in the bearish uh, territory for the nifty as well as the bank nifty left, left side nifty bank nifty right side and but the thing is it is not that bearish is not having much strength less it's weak only right but the crossover is far away the crossover has to happen back only then you can say the trend has changed so trend remains bearish momentum has picked up to sideways from the bear zones on the nifty and remain sideways with a bounce up on the bank nifty right so we have seen support resistances volatility you know um, price action and momentum and trend now coming to volatility it is a 10 percent cool of the diamond today yesterday was the double of that 23 percent of uh, shoot up that happened today half of that is cold off but still it is about 20.6 20 above means you have to be cautious and careful if it further spikes up or not little more cooling below 20 it will be good in my world is 22.8 but 89.5 is the IP is the very high IP percentile level right good for the sellers but not at a volatility which is above 22 23 25 that kind of range it's dangerous even if no yesterday it was 98 percent of IVP right so that's it but there will be too much to handle sometimes operators analysis data is showing that uh, there's a lot of support that got added up today and unwinding of the some amount unwinding of the calls also happened and it's also same a lot of put write up has happened today put additions so where is the put addition 17,000 is where the maximum puts are added 7,700 is maximum resistance is there okay yeah. it's called writing added up there 16,000 is next uh, support and 80,000 is the next uh, resistance point signs is improved not bullish enough long build up in the futures open interest is what happened in nifty bank nifty the range is between 37 where the highest put rating is and 40,000 where the highest call rating is 36,500 also is a good uh, support while 39,000 also is a next good resistance upside 0.99 is exactly bullish on long build up is what happened in the future interest rate so put call ratio is for bank nifty is better than the put call ratio of nifty as of course still there are two days for the expiry now it's a green all over all sectors did uh, uh, well um, and um, all the heavyweights also did well actually what the heavyweights which tfc bank right uh, resistance is upside there but it, it had recorded or it had given up yesterday so good good green close and how hdfc bank is not showing that it's, it's also close green right but it had fallen off from major resistance so huh? it is shown green today even the lines also is bullish and getting outside the neckline of that uh, can simple cup and handle pattern and probably that could be give you a possibility of a breakout from this on the upside right a cup and handle pattern breaks out after a handle is formed so you don't know whether this handle formation will continue for more or would it break out from here or not please break out it will be a big move now infos is saying a green candle and you know, this kind of consolidation is what is happening at the medium top ICC Bank has slipped off in the channel down and but it closed green today. No, Kodak Bank also closed green. Uh, yeah, it was regained to side, side, sideways momentum from the ICC Bank also sideways momentum. So all of the sectors which have gone to the daily zone, some of it had regained the momentum to sideways. TCS is also closing a big green candle within the channel. Good volume inside, but all of them sideways moment is what you see, except for bearish moment that is still seen in the HDFC, not HDFC bank. HDFC bank is sideways moment, but this bear HDFC is kind of little bearish because the momentum is poor. No, rest is all having at least sideways moment, all the heavyweights rest. So, overall, IT sector went up 3%, metal went up 2%, 2.2%, auto went 4% up. 
Pharma went uh, 7-9%, almost 1% up, FMCG 2% up, Reality 3% up. So everywhere it is up and the momentum is everywhere sideways now. Right? But it has to go into the bullish zones before we can pick up the stocks from each other set based on the top down approach. Look at the institutional participation here. No? Good heavy selling MBFA continues non-stop, not a half of only what they had sold yesterday, but still a good selling continues to happen. The FI said, but look at what DI has did today. They did the heavy buying today ahead of the LIC policy issue or something. They are buying heavily. Right? That is what escaped, you know, saved the market today. If this, you know, and the retailers also might have followed and then bought. You know, not sure what is the reason behind this buying, but if I DI buying along with the retailers might have made uh, possible such big moves in the market today. But the sad thing is, the institutional FI selling foreign sellers are still remaining sellers. Dollar has cold off, you yeah, know, no, rupee has weakened, dollar has, uh, rupee has strengthened actually, dollar has cold off, as I said at the beginning, right. So, dollar you can see that it is. Uh, Spiking up uh, since last time, many days, it has cooled up slightly, all the way sideways. But USD, I know the currency pair, what you see on the left side, right? Currency pair of uh, US dollar and India. So that has made uh, it is at a resistance zone, seems like it cannot take this as it here, and it has fallen down. That means rupee is slightly strengthened at the 70, still above the 75 kind of level. So it is still not good. Crude oil is uh, cooled off and uh, uh, it was rising up to crazy levels around 93, 93 kind of levels following the Ukraine crisis and today it is for some reason cold off. So rupees turned down, crude cool, cooled off, markets performed and look at what gold has happened. As the market moves up, gold will fall down. Gold has met with the resistance, tried to break out of this channel top, met with the resistance at 1876 famous level for team time it, is, it has been going and hitting that resistance and coming down. So the consolidation continues, the bullish momentum is slightly slipping the sideways back in the gold. Right? Global indices is CVC, Dow Jones is still in a red, it was a kind of a bounce up, momentum is still sideways. So it does not come back to the support zone, right? That is a famous support zone where it used to bounce up for several times, you know, in the last several weeks before. So that is not breached is only relief, otherwise not that, but today's, this is extra days, so today's, we don't know it, we'll have to watch this, but it opens and then watch it when it closes, tomorrow morning our time. But there is some green that is seen in the NASDAQ as well as the S&P 500, whether that team sustained until tomorrow or not is what, if that happens, then our market will not have any negative impact from the US market falls that is happening. Okay. Next number only one item, Hindalco. It's having a hammer, it's having bullish momentum now on the daily. Decent volumes, Tra momentum is, uh, the trend is crossing over to the bullish zones. So overall it's in a channel, so there is more space for the channel to move upside and then it may happen slowly. And metal sector also overall is bullish. Overall is bullish in the sense, as compared, comparatively it is bullish, not with respect to momentum. Now, yeah, my view is a neutral, no. In spite of such big moves that has happened, it is at a gap for resistance at a moving average, 20 moving average resistance, median resistance. So anything can happen, whether it will sustain this move for the tomorrow or will it consolidate or will it again retest all back, you never know. Who would have expected that today could have record all the loss that happened yesterday. So that's the kind of market. So I'm going with a neutral view today. Right? It's it is US, US market uh, because of the tapering and uh, you know, interest rates and inflation and all that. There could be volatility that may continue. If that makes big corrections again in the US market, then it will reflect down. market. Pressure Ukraine uncertainty is what market does not like. So there is a lot of uncertainty on whether the war will happen or not since you know, several days. You know, so market doesn't like that. You know, it has to come to a conclusion. The moment it comes to a conclusion, an escalation or a de escalation happens. Whichever way the volatility. It will be highly likely to be healthy all time in the next coming days. Today it is cold off, but still it is about 20, so I have to be cautious. Anything about 20. FIRs continue to be selling is a concern, but DIs are actively buying for some reason. So we just keep in the market safe. Positive factors if you see, uh, there is a CIP bounce that actually happened and a wide range, very wide range bullish. 
Directly showing you know strength without, without much of volatility. So these are all good things, positive things. But you know there is the uncertainty factor also there. So stay away if it is again spiking to you know twenty and not pulling up below. But that is the best approach if you are not that risk if you are risk averse. Right. So start thinking of the stocks in the cash segment for invest long term investment. This happy mode. You no, know, when the market is falling and you know when our dips, dips like this come, you know, that will be time for. In some bit of investments, which can be placed and used in the trading again, if you want, if you have options. So, so option steps, uh, setups. Uh, always use the hedge positions. You know, if you are carrying the hover night, because you never know what happens next time on, right? <laughs> so uh, without hedge, you do not know what is the risk that you are exposed to. So always go for an intraday also put tight stop losses and stick to the system rules and never overrate that, because you don't know when the reversal happens. We should move happen today also. So that's all that we can be done. Managing the risk is all that traders can do, right? So that's a very neutral view is what I have short term. Even though we had a great bullish recovery day that happened today because of the market uncertainty and you know, volatility and all that, I am taking a neutral view. So if this helps you to frame your view for tomorrow, in some way, consider the like button and share to your friends. We have very few subscriptions and appreciate your help in this as well. Thanks for watching. Happy trading. Happy trading. Bye.